Is a $170 mini PC worth it? Well, sit back, relax, and see as we check out the Azul Byte Plus. Some of the specs that are worth highlighting with this mini PC include a full Windows 10 operating system, 2GB of DDR, 3L RAM, 32GB of memory, and an Intel Atom Cherry Trail T3 Z8300 quad-core processor which clocks in at 1.44 GHz with the ability to overclock at 1.84 GHz. And the whole thing has the ability to put out to two displays at once. Now you'll also find a one-year warranty with this product. Now not much comes included in the box. We just get the actual PC itself and a charger. It has a very attractive figure though and overall is a very stylish PC. Now on the front we have the power button and the model name. On the right side we have a micro SD card slot. Then on the rear we have the Wi-Fi antenna as well as a variety of ports including a WVGA port, HDMI port, two USB 3.0 ports, a USB 2.0 port, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, a Kensington lock, a LAN port, and the power input port. That is an impressive amount of ports for a PC in this size and price range. Then on the left side we have nothing, on the bottom we have a rubber textured bottom with two screws for mounting, then on the top we have a premium metal panel that looks and feels very high quality. Now overall I think this computer has some very attractive hardware. And another additional benefit of the Azul Byte Plus is that the power cable and brick that are included is quite small in size. Now setting up this PC was easy and it was just like setting up any other Windows 10 device. Everything was plug and play and I never needed to download any drivers to get my peripherals working. The Byte Plus shows its low price though in the performance department. It works fine for simple tasks such as web browsing or word processing, but works moderately well at streaming video in HD and is close to useless though with games. Of course, I wouldn't expect a small and inexpensive computer like this to play games well, but I just wanted to make that clear. Minecraft was close to unplayable and YouTube worked decently well at lower resolutions but glitches out when the resolution is increased to HD. Also keep in mind that the 32GB of storage space fills up quick as there's less than 15GB available with Windows installed. In conclusion, I think if you're going to get this then you should spend slightly more money for the version with 4GB of RAM because 2GB of RAM simply is not enough. Even with extra RAM this mini PC seems to cater to a niche audience. Its small size is cool because it can be part of an entertainment center but I feel like getting an entry level laptop instead makes more sense for most consumers looking to buy a PC in this price range. So hopefully this review was helpful to you and gave you a good idea of what to expect from this product. Check out the link to buy this on Amazon if interested, comment below with any questions, like the video, and sub. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one.